I am fine. Thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB Show, broadcasting on a global platform. I want to welcome you both to the show, and we're going to talk weather, I heard. I'll start with you, Jim. Tell me about being America's weatherman. Well, I don't know if I'm aware America's weatherman or not. I'm, I'm just one of many. Uh, <laughs> I have a I have a lot of great colleagues out there um, that I adore as as meteorologists, and our, our common goal is to, is to get people out of harm's way and and do the best we can to explain the risk that they face. You know, uh, who would have known that in one season, in one month, actually, that Dallas, Texas would have gone from drought to deluge. Uh, the spring that you guys have with the rainfall, uh, I was just trying to think, what if you had reservoirs that were halfway or even three quarters of the way full and you still had that kind of rain, the type of catastrophic flooding that would have ensued? So, um, you know, the, the kind of weather that we're seeing in the last several years has been extreme. And it's not just the United States, it's globally. We know that a warmer climate holds more water and more water, unfortunately, can be squeezed out with these weather systems. And, and we've seen the results of that. And I think, you know, with El Nino and this warmer atmosphere, we're seeing that in Dallas, Texas. All right. Well, Ms. Salvador, could you tell me, as a Senior Vice President and Chief Communication Officer for the Insurance Information Institute, how are you intersecting with the Weather Channel? Well, the, it's important that everybody knows what the weather risk is where they live. Uh, and insurance is a really important matter, uh, way to prepare for disasters. So this is a good reminder that everybody should call their insurance company, find out what they're covered for, what they're not, and find out what the risk of flooding is by going to floodsmart.gov. You can put in your address. They'll let you know what the risk of flooding is. But really take the time to understand what you're covered for, what you're not, and have enough insurance to rebuild your home and replace all of your personal possessions. I think that's such good advice. Jim, let me ask you. I was reading uh, the profile of the Weather Channel. You guys are retooling what you're doing. You have moved people to uh, different places, and some, peop some shows you're no longer doing, like reality shows, and you're really getting uh, more focused back, like I originally knew you, on the weather. Uh, yeah, and you know what? I, I have no problem with that. Uh, I'm, I'm glad we're, we're doing what we're doing. Uh, I, I think the, the viewers certainly are, are happy to see uh, the Weather Channel out there ready for you whenever we uh, have a, a weather disaster, wherever it is ac across the country. You know, look, it, it's a business, and there are many times that the weather is very, very slow. So we looked for, uh, in years past, a way to grow that business. And, you know, we, through research, found out that people wanted to see shows about weather and whatnot. Uh, but now what's happening is, you know, there are two other weather channels out there that do nothing but 24-7 weather. So I think that's maybe perhaps forced our hand a little bit to, to, to do the weather again 24-7 which is fine. Uh, you know, we want to be, our number one goal is to get people prepared and out of harm's way. And if that means going back the way we did it, uh, then that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay. And once again, <clears throat> excuse me, to in, intersect with, must, with Ms., what Ms. Salvatore said, um, know what coverage you have. There's so many different weather patterns, so many different uh, weather climates going on. The weather channel, excuse me, <clears throat> Excuse me, are you looking global, too, for us? Because I believe in a butterfly effect. What is happening in Antarctic affects me over here in Dallas, Texas. So are you guys looking global and local? Uh, okay, uh, yeah, I, I mean, obviously, we, we watch weather patterns uh, all the time that come around the world. I mean, uh, a tropical system that's off of the, the western Pacific uh, can easily eventually, you know, in, in maybe 7 to 10 days impact our weather. Okay, we can have a, either a big ridge or a big storm that morphs and comes into California. So we absolutely watch what's going uh, around the globe. You know, some of the research lately says, all right, you know what, if we have a warmer Arctic and the ice is melting, uh, maybe the ridges are a little bit stronger up there. And overall, that's making for a much more undulating weather pattern with really cold. I mean, and the same, everyone thinks global warming is, is all warm. No, that's exactly wrong. It's extremes, uh, extreme cold and extreme heat. All, all, you know, sometimes in the same year for the same place. So you, you we're seeing potentially with this warming in the Arctic region more extreme weather patterns as a result of that because of the way the jet stream flows.
before I let you go, this is National Preparedness Month. Is there any way you can send my audience so that they can start to think about being prepared? Well, it's important that everybody thinks about what they're going to do if they have to evacuate. So what you want to do is to make sure you know where you're going to go, what you're going to take, and how are you going to communicate with, with your loved ones. And if you've got either senior citizens or pets, a little more planning is needed. That is very true. I'm from New Orleans, really. That's my home. And I know what my family went through, my family and friends, with Hurricane Katrina. Some people just got in the car and they never expect it to happen. So great advice once again. I want to thank you guys for appearing on the Valder BB Show and talking about a really important topic. I That's thank you. Nice. And once again, what's that website, Jim, you want us to go to for the Weather Channel? Uh, well, you can go to weather.com for the Weather Channel. You can go to floodsmart.gov. Uh, to find out, you know, what your risks are for flooding and also, uh, you know, to, to find out how to get yourself some flood insurance. Because if you look at uh, the Dallas area, 25,000 insurance policies out of 2.6 million households seems a little low, uh, certainly. And remember, a flood insurance policy is not the same as a regular insurance policy. I will be bringing that message home because I really believe you guys. Thank you for appearing on the Valder BB Show. Thank you. Thank you.